Hey everybody, Doug Seven here. I have an, a, a different and exciting kind of multi-phased steal this lick idea for you guys. You're gonna love this. Um, this is a, a really easy soloing technique that I haven't really thought about for a long time. I'm gonna show you three of the best lessons from uh, Hotter Licks and Killer One-Liners, which um, it happens to be one of the most incredible resources in the entire library of sizzling guitar licks. I was re-watching it today, skimming through it just to, to find some great lessons to show you guys out of it. And I was just reminded of the immense content and value of these six videos that I put together for you in this package. And it's no wonder everybody loves it. I just received a Facebook message from a well-recognized guitarist that you would all know if I told you who it was. Uh, he said that he'd been up all night uh, since three o'clock in the morning, he decided to put Hotter Licks and Killer One Liners DVD, and he was just kind of messing around with it. And he sent me a Facebook message early in the morning. It said, "Dude, you gotta make, uh, you gotta make a lot more just like this. This is pure genius." He said. He said it's just it's just brilliant. So that really meant a lot to me, and I thought it was cool. So I decided to just uh, dig some great lessons out for you guys. So without further ado, let's uh, fire this up. I'm gonna th show you three different licks. And then we're going to play over a sweet country groove, like a good halftime groove over one, four, and five. And I'll show you a great soloing technique you can use. Okay, let's break this down. There are three main thinking techniques, okay, in this solo, in, in how, how I improvise a lot of the time, okay, and, and how I come up with stuff when I write solos or how I just play off the cuff, okay. There's little tricks I use and little um, unconventional methods and things like that, and that's what Hotter Licks, Killer One Liners is all about. The first video, is showing you how to play out of the wrong keys. It's inspired by the Danny Gatton quote that I love saying. You know, he said, I just play out of the wrong keys most of the time. And, and that's that was his way of explaining his genius to, to everybody that was asking. And, and so that inspired me to go on a search of my own to find wrong keys to borrow notes from. And I'm not going to get too much into the meat of this because there's plenty of of just awesome content in the in the six videos of Hotter Licks, okay? But I am going to break down the three major techniques used in this solo, all right? Um, I would say four, because the fourth one kind of puts it all together. So I'm going to show you that one first and kind of explain it. When I was starting to, to improv and, and do soloing and things like that on my own, learning how to just flow that way, um, the logical choice for me was I knew a bunch of licks. I knew a bunch of licks in G. And then I knew a bunch of licks in C. And then I knew a bunch of licks in D. Okay, but licks are licks, all right? So the first logical thing I did was, was I would play licks in G. 
And then when the song went to the four, the C, I would start playing licks. You know, start playing licks in C and do the same thing and so forth. And if it was E, I, re I would have to remember the little rule of minor. So, you know, it, it got kind of weird then. I'm dropping picks and everything. Um, so, so just doing licks in each key is, is kind of the entry level way. And it's, I still kind of do it, I guess, you know. If I'm not familiar with the melody of the song or something like that, I'll kind of embellish that way. And just kind of just play cool licks out of each key, all right? And, and now there are other things I got from like Roy Nichols, okay? Outside, playing outside the box. sounded pretty cool and, and, and playing outside of the box and stuff. So it just kind of evolved into that. But when Danny said play in the wrong keys, here's the, the first technique of, of coming up with ways to play outside of that old boxy scale that, uh, you know, we are all just, you know, just playing that and, and, and learning how to spread it out a lot better. All right. Um, cause I know I lived in that rut for ever seemed like. So one of the things would to be play out of the seven flat. So if you're here in C, think out of like this position, a whole step down. So you kind of borrow. All right. And so that's playing out of the seven flat. Same thing up here. Don't think. That's a C11, I believe. But who cares, right? Uh, playing out of that. That's all I cared about was that sounded cool. So borrowing notes from that, from that that whole position down, all right? Hope that makes sense. I'm just gonna move on because there's so much to say about that. The third technique, I'm sorry, the second. We did the fourth one first, I don't know why. You know, that's how I roll, I guess. Was, was doing, the first one we went over was doing just a lick in each key. We'll go like this. The second technique was the playing out of the, out of the seven flat. And it's kind of like a, you know, it's just the, it's just the, the dominant seven sound. The third technique is kind of borrowing, it's the same thing, but just borrowing from like, like you've heard in this example. can sound really jazzy just by making everything sharp for a moment. There's the seven flat. All right, sounds super cool. Throw in chromatic notes, which is just every note. Okay. So, so using those thought processes. Now, no, as soon as I thought that back in the day, I wasn't able to do that right instantly. So I'm not trying to, not trying to, to come across that way. 
mm-hmm. that took a lot of work to be able to flow like that. But uh, just but using those little hacks like that. And that's what I show you in Hotter Licks, okay? So don't, I, I hope you're not feeling like you're missing anything in this, you know, short free video, okay? I, I hope you understand that. I, I do want to show you these three licks real fast. Okay, so we're going to slow those down and think of these techniques using the chromatic lines, that, that kind of... Using those chromatic lines that get you in and out of those other hacks, the, the seven flat. And then, and then the, the sharp, the, the Roy Nichols kind of borrowing notes from other scales, the Danny Gatton playing out of the wrong key. That's how I learned, and that's how I, I kind of suggest playing with this stuff at first, instead of having to memorize why things work. Just kind of come up with your own tricks at first. It'll get you playing a lot faster. It'll keep you interested and inspired, all right? Let's go through this. And I'll kind of just show you. You have tabs and a backing track. You have all the resources that'll teach you this cool, all these licks that are in here that you can pull and choose from. And it'll teach you how to put it all together, too. That's what the second video of Hotter Licks is, is showing you a lick in G, really awesome one, a lick in C, and then a lick in D, and then all three of them put together. It's super cool when I forgot how awesome it was till I, I was watching it again. So I just had to tell anybody that don't have it. Anyway, so I'm gonna do it about like that speed. S- still a little bit fast, but you'll get the point. All right, one, two, three, again and then kind of the Brad Paisley pull off all right and then when it goes to C I get melodic so that's really noty okay um, when we go to C we just kind of hang in a in a cool melodic soulful phrase to the five D. I'm thinking out of this seven flat, okay, bending up. And then it goes down to the four C, and this is a double pre-bend. On the fifth fret, um, second and third string, bend up before you pluck half step so Thank mm-hmm. you. 
I hope that helped you today. I Man, I always cram so much into this because I really want you to get it. That's all I care about. Everybody knows that about me. I'm crazy like that. So I urge you, and I really, really highly recommend, along with 10,000 other guitarists that have been inspired by these six videos in Hotterlix, is grab it up as fast as you can and start digging in and consuming this, this content, this information, all the hundreds of licks and examples and solos that are in it. I sure hope you enjoyed this video today and I kept it short enough for you and, and packed a little bit of good knowledge lesson content in there. And I'll see you real soon in the next one. Mm -hmm.